Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, good evening, everybody. We have a pretty quiet night so far, but things will be changing by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. We will have some rain around. Uh, so not the best day for your Sunday, but not a complete washout. I think we'll see some sunny breaks here and there, too, especially in the midday hour. So let's take a look at live early warning pinpoint Doppler scan and clear. No issues right now, but by about five, six o'clock in the morning, we'll start to have some rain moving on in. Um, and it'll be with us kind of off and on tomorrow. Here's our normals for the day today. Our normal high 86 degrees, record 96 degrees. That was set back in 1987. We didn't get close to that today. Normal low 64, record low 49, set back in 1985. But we did drop down into the lower 50s earlier this morning. So we got a little closer to that record low than we did to the record high today. And you can see we were a couple of degrees below normal in Windsor Locks. We got up to 84. 81 was the high today in Willimantic. 80 in Waterbury. 82 in New Haven 83 in Hartford, but really just a beautiful day of weather. We haven't had just a completely dry and sunny Saturday in many, many weeks. So it was nice to have a beautiful weekend day. And unfortunately, we won't be doing it again tomorrow. Uh, 52 was our low in Litchfield. So as I mentioned, it did get a little chilly overnight. 55 was the low in West Hartford. The low was uh, 56 in Plainfield. West Haven got down to 62. And right now we're in the 60s low 70s, 71 currently in West Haven, and we'll drop down into the middle 60s for overnight lows. We have clear skies with some high clouds streaming on in from the west in New Haven, 72 degrees. Winds are out of the south at six miles per hour, and those southerly winds are going to help to bring back some more humidity. You'll notice it tomorrow, 67 currently in Waterbury under a partly cloudy sky. Winds out of the southeast at five miles per hour. Our satellite and radar picture across the area does show these high clouds streaming on in from the west. We have a frontal boundary that's going to be lifting northward across Connecticut. It is going to increase the clouds. It's going to increase the humidity and also increase our rain chances across the area. So here's the future cast and you can see what I mean by about five, six o'clock in the morning. We'll be tracking the first batch of rain entering western and central Connecticut and Notice there's a little bit of darker activity going on in here, some yellows and oranges. That could be some briefly heavy downpours. That will continue through about 10, 11 a.m. But as we get towards lunchtime, we think that we'll see some breaks of sunshine perhaps, and that will help to boost our temperatures into the lower 80s inland Connecticut. And then as a cold front slides through later in the day, then we have a round of some showers and thunderstorms that cross the state. But by tomorrow evening, everything clears on out and that's going to set the stage for a pretty nice day for your Monday. It's going to be a hot one on Monday between about 85 and 90, but we do expect dry conditions and mostly sunny skies. So we do have the chance in extreme western or northwestern Connecticut as that front approaches that a few of the storms tomorrow um, could be strong, if not severe. We'll certainly keep you posted if any watches or warnings are issued. It doesn't look like a huge threat for many of us. Um, and if the storms do fire up, damaging winds would be the main threat. All right, we're also watching this disturbed area off the coast of Florida. National Hurricane Center has about a 50% chance of uh, some tropical development. So if it does happen, the main impacts will be across Florida, the Florida Keys, and it would be named Fred. So we'll have to wait and see over the next 24 to 48 hours. So tonight we'll drop down into the low to mid 60s, upper 60s along the shoreline for overnight lows. Morning rain tomorrow, then a mix of clouds and sunshine, then some afternoon storms. So a little bit of everything tomorrow. Highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. A dry Monday, highs near 90. 90 on Tuesday with um, an evening storm possible. Dry on Wednesday and then turning more humid with some showers and storms possible Thursday afternoon and again on Friday afternoon. But next weekend so far looks pretty good.